What is that? What's what? That noise? Helicopter? Or airplane? Or a truck? Nah, that's a helicopter. But what is up guys? Welcome back to the Anna JT channel. Today, we're watching one woman, 17 British accents. 17. Yeah. Listen, I'm one man and I got half an accent. So, <laughs> <laughs> this woman's got 17. I've actually watched this before on my main channel. I don't like really remember it. All I remember is like it being insane. Like you gotta pay attention to this woman cause she's just like switches quick. It's, it's impressive, it really is. I can't change accents, I only have one. Yeah, I, I can. Or a half. Yeah, I got this one. This is how, this is how I talk. That's about it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I got like country. Now I got like real country. I like I can talk real country, you know, tractors and such. Well, whenever you go real country, you go real nasally when yeah. you talk. Yeah, I talk real nasally with them now. You hear me now, boy? My old partner. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. All right, let's get into this video. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Drop a like for more reactions like this. The UK is incredibly diverse in terms of accents, and it just so happens that I can do many of these accents as my party trick. So come with me as I take you on a guided tour through all of the accents and archetypes of Great Britain. Hi, I'm Siobhan Thompson, and this is Anglophenia. And what I'm speaking Hi, right Siobhan. now is RP, received pronunciation, or you know, your standard BBC English. It's spoken across the country, generally by middle, upper middle, and upper class people. Think of Martin Freeman, Benedict Cumberbatch, or you know, most of the presenters of BBC News. So, good evening. It's nine o'clock, and this is the news. I'm very important. Heightened RP is generally only spoken on film and television now. So you're going to think of Nell Card or the Dowager Countess in Downton Abbey. Oh, Gerald, I do love you, but you're so terribly, terribly poor. Now, London is the accent that most people outside of Britain can recognise. You know, that classic lock, stock and two smoking barrels. Go out of my pub. Go on, go out of it. Shut it, you tart. What is happening? I don't know, but the way she can just easily transition to the other accents like that is insane to me. That has to be like one take. What the heck? East Anglia is a flat, boggy kind of place with a flat, boggy kind of accent. I'd love to give you an example of somebody that comes from there that speaks like this, but they all lose this accent as soon as they can. Stephen Fry's <laughs> from Norfolk, but he doesn't speak like this because he's posh. Here's a kind of classic kind of East Anglia phrase. I done dropped my computer in the fan and it's broken. I Why done, does it sound like us? I done dropped my computer in the fan and it's broken. Alright. That sounded exactly like her, didn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> now let's go across the island to the West Country, which is a much rounder sound. It's farmland full of sheep and cows and apples. Think of like Sam Ganji from... So they're the country British. That's the country That's British. <laughs> the Lord of the Rings or Hagrid from the Harry Potter movies. Ah, oh, you bloody okay. kids, get off my land. Or, oh, Mr. Frodo, don't let him turn me into anything unnatural. And then when you go down to Cornwall, it gets a little bit more piratey. So, hoist the mizzen mast, Squire Trelawney. Now, Southern Welsh is this great sing-songy kind of an accent. Think of Tom Jones or Richard Burton. You know, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Bloody hell, I love Dylan Thomas. <laughs> Northern Welsh is where the singer Duffy is from. It's a breathier, thicker kind of an accent. And most people from there speak Welsh at home and English is a second language. So, you know, diolch fawr. Now cross the wow. country to the West wow. Midlands in Birmingham. It's a very nasal kind of an accent, mostly on account of all the industry that went on in that area. Cat Daly, who presents So You Think You Can Dance, is from there. And so is Ozzy Osbourne, you know. That's, yeah. the, that's exactly who she sounds yeah. like right there. What Where's the heck? Where's the remote? Yeah, that voice that he does isn't because of drugs, it's just where he's from. Scouts is a classic Liverpool <laughs> accent. The Beatles are from there and so is Paul McGann. They were also made European capital of culture a couple of years ago by the EU, so don't tell me they're not cultured, all right. Up into Lancashire and, you know, think of Christopher Eccleston or most of the cast of the Downstairs in Downton Abbey. Daisy, get those buns out the oven before they burn. Oh, Miss... Daisy, get the buns out the oven before they burn. I'm getting pretty good. No. Yeah. No. 
Yeah. 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 It's getting better. <laughs> so, across the Pennines to Yorkshire. It's a much kind of flatter accent from Ow. Lancashire. We cut off a lot of the words. So, I'm going to pub up hill. Think of Sean Bean from Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones. One does not simply walk into Mordor. So in Northumberland and Newcastle, he's speaking a Geordie accent. So, you know, think of the Geordie Shore or Carol Cole. Remember, she got fired from the X Factor because nobody could understand a word she was saying. Damn. Or Billy Elliot. <laughs> All I want to do is dance Bally, but me dad makes me box. It huh? was the capital of no Scotland. Idea. It's a very soft, maybe a little snooty kind of an accent. Think of Ewan McGregor or Dame Maggie Smith as Professor McGonagall. What That's her? ten points taken from Gryffindor, Mr. Potter. Glasgow is a much thicker kind of an accent. Billy Connolly and Peter Capaldi are both from there. They cut off a lot of the words, so uh, I haven't any butter, so I've got to go to the shop, you know. And so up to... Did you understand what the yeah, hell? I did. I did. <laughs> the very north to the highlands of Scotland. Think of Amy Pond from Doctor Who, or maybe Sir Robert Burns. The best laid plans of mice and men, gang after glee. Now let's go to Northern Ireland, and it's all about the vowels with the Northern Irish accent like. So like, how now, brown cow? Liam Neeson is from there. How now, brown cow? Got a very cow. particular <laughs> set of skills. I know he doesn't say it in that accent in the movie, but it sounds well called, so... <laughs> and finally, Southern Ireland is obviously not a part of the United Kingdom, but I can do a Dublin accent, so let's just do it. I low key forgot how she actually sounds. I <laughs> have no idea. I need her to snap back into a regular accent. I low key forgot. It's a pretty classic Irish accent with a lot of assonance to it. So Sinead O'Connor is from there. Nothing compares. Nothing compares to you. That is all from me. Tell me if there's any British accents that I miss because I love a challenge. <sighs> Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. That, I mean, there's I'm no impressed. way. I know, there's no way I could do that. Like, that's insane. Y'all let us know, did she do, like, we, we're, we don't know. We don't know the different accents. So, like, are they close and, like, did she actually, like, nail them on the head? Did she get some of them right, some of them wrong? Y'all let us know down in the comments, but hey, I'm impressed nonetheless. I, there's no way. Like, I can't. Yeah. I don't. I, we, we barely talk. Right. Like this, so. <laughs> right. Like, I have a hard enough time just trying to get out my thoughts. Yeah. But to be able to do 17 different accents, there's no way. Yeah. And to, like, switch between them like that, like, just and that flawlessly. that was effortless. Yeah. Like, th that's honestly a party trick, because yeah. that is effortless. Shout Siobhan. Like, to think of a sentence to even say. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, how does she even, like, think like, of the stuff hard. to say? That, yeah. That's impressive. Daisy, get the buns out the oven. <laughs> Daisy, get the buns out the oven. No. <laughs> what do you think, Charlie? Can you do a British accent? She kicked me in the back of the neck yeah, in the middle her. of that. Say something, Charlie. Say it right now. We won't say anything. So I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry, Bob, for kicking you into bed. <laughs> Turn the light off. I'm trying to sleep. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's reaction. If y'all want to see more reactions like this, let us know by hitting that like button. Thank you guys so much for watching. JT. And Anna. And we out. And Charlie. Hee 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 hee. Charlie. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Uh oh. Oh, girl. <laughs> RK Odor.